All right, a couple days ago, I noticed a drip on the floor of oil. But it was nowhere near where the RTV is, and there's nothing up here that can leak anyways. So I look straight up. Well, can't see anything now because that's where the ceiling hoist goes. But this is it. So I ended up taking the ceiling hoist apart because it was dripping. All the grease that was inside of the hoist, you can see some of it still in there, kind of started to go liquid on me. So I'm pulling all of it out. And I'm going to put some new grease in there. And we'll see how that goes. I'll probably just use the original uh, gasket. Gasket looks okay. I might clean it up a little bit. Other than that, that should be about it. And I'll just bolt her back together and away she goes. Alright, so I've glommed a whole bunch of grease on this gear here and also underneath it. And over here, I've glommed a whole bunch inside of there too. So I'll throw the gasket back on, put the bolts in loosely, give it a couple spins, and then tighten her down. We should be all set. So, there's the old grease. There's the new grease. Multi-purpose. Doesn't really matter. It's not going that fast. All right, and she is working again. Got it back up there. I have a chain with a bolt, whoops, through it. And that little piece of chain hangs there so that whenever I have to do any kind of work on the hoist, I can just hook that to that and I can just lower the, the hoist down, upside down, because the hoist doesn't care what direction it's working in, as long as you keep the, uh, the little bar from hitting the safety switch on there. So you just gotta pay attention to that when you're doing it. But other than that, the machine carries itself up and down, so it saves you a lot of effort. But she's working good again. And hopefully, this should take care of my dripping problem, which was a complete mystery to me. No longer 